चलो My name is Eduardo. And today, well, I am here just to try this thing. Okay, just let me prepare everything. Okay. Well, um, today I am here with a tutorial, a very simple tutorial, and I am just using this kind of uh, broadcasting feature from YouTube just to make some tests, okay, because I am using this in other channel. But anyway, I will show you today, as uh, if you check, um, how to make a calculator. Well, I have been working with this tutorial okay so i guess these were my last tutorials working with a calculator and if you check here we have um this calculator i just added like a cute uh, skin or something okay i was like talking to my daughter and he asked me to make something like yeah like she, uh, she said is this like kawaii calcula calculator well anyway if you check the previous tutorials, we have this calculator like this, okay? So you have these numbers. I haven't worked, uh, finished this, but, but, and then you have like, for example, plus 73, and then you go for equals, okay? So that's it. So it was quite functional, and I guess it was uh, okay minus 73 equals anyway so and then i just found uh, this wonderful extension that i will show you today and we're going to make something very cool because if you remember for the calculator we have this bunch of code but it's okay but it's a lot let me just reduce the size of this Now, um, today, where I will show you how to simplify this using the wonderful Typhoon extension. Well, just uh, make sure to visit his website, that is Pura Vida Apps, okay? I just uh, share the link with you. And also, consider donating to him. Well, it is just this very nice extension, and I will show you how to use it with the calculator that we have, okay? So, well, if you have your calculator from the previous tutorials, okay, just check the other tutorials. I have the link to download this, okay? We're going to make some adjustments to work with this. So, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool, okay? So, if you check this normal calculator that I have, you, you just have one, two numbers, and then just like minus 30, 33, and that's it, okay? But now, I will show you with the extension, okay, how to reduce everything. So, let's start with this. The first thing that we need, it is uh, to download the extension. So you can go to the designer. After you download the extension from Pura Vida Apps, that is the math extension. So you can get it from here. You have this extension. So I recommend you download the uh, AIX file. So you have all the information over there that it's pretty useful, okay? So we're going to use it just to make something very simple. But you can make a very, very, very complete calculator with it. Well, so we go here. And after you download it, you have to import. You go here to calculator. Uh, I mean, to calculator to your project. And then you go to the left side. And then you go for extension. And you import the extension. Okay. After you import the extension, it will appear in here. And then you just drag it, okay, to here. And then you will have the extension installed. Then we return to calculator from the previous tutorial. And we are going to modify some things, okay, to use this. The first thing is we are going to modify the add digit block, okay? So we are going to remove this and we are going to simplify this. So we are going to use just this part. We are going to add digits like this so now let's check it so there is there are some things that we need to fix okay but don't worry okay i guess i use i will show you just the basic stuff 
check for example you have so now we need to modify also the numbers okay so first it is the add digit okay so we're going to modify this and then we're going to modify the one for a uh, every time we press the buttons the add button and all of them okay so now <clears throat> we're going to use for example we are going to look for the symbols or the operators i mean that's the correct number so you have the punto button equals button clr divide so we are going to use something different in here so for these ones we are going to check the procedures or we can use um, maybe we're going to use this Mm -hmm. add digit text so it will add this thing let's go for divide let's modify divide every time we use divide we are going to add this text to um, the procedure okay so it is like using this one the add digit So let's use add digit, guys. And let's modify. So we're going to use here, but instead of digit, we're going to use this symbol. So if we press here, we have this. That's it. Now we're going to do the same for the multiply. Let's duplicate this one let's remove this and let's add here this symbol to multiply we're going to do the same for the subtract duplicate subtract just this operator and for the addition operator we're going to remove this and we're going to duplicate this one and we're going to add this i guess it is just like plus so now we can have 43 uh, minus <clears throat> 43 plus 73 minus 67 okay then we are going to need to fix some things but i guess it's okay for now so you have this okay now it is like adding this if you have your android calculator it is it looks like pretty similar okay adding all of these things, these numbers and operators now we're going to use now the typhoon extension now if you check our equals procedure it was a huge 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 procedure okay so you need to compare to detect if you are using uh, the subtracting or the division or anything okay so now we're going to do something different for this and super 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 easy so let's add it in here let's create a new procedure and let's call it equals to equals to or let's call it equals typhoon I guess it looks better okay thank you again for this wonderful extension and now we're going to use uh, this for this equals first we're going to use the result label remember that we have two uh, labels so we have this one in here that it's the label uh, arriba and this one that is the abajo okay so up and down labels so first for the label number two okay, where we have these operators and numbers we're going to use a um, set set the label okay so let's make it in here 
So set the label text. And we're going to use here, go down and look for Typhoon extension. Then here, just let me make this thing a little bit bigger. And let me reduce this because it's not, it is taking too much space. Okay. So we use the Typhoon block called expression string and we're going to insert the string. Which string? Well, the one from the label that is in here. Oh, I mean, for the result is up, okay? So, and then we're going to use all the numbers from the lower label. So label text. And that's it. And then the label one. It will be like replace, okay? So, I mean, this one with the result or with a zero if you want, okay? So, you can use here level uh, text. And then you can use another thing. You can use zero. You can use uh, the same value or any. So, now let's try it, okay? Or we can use this one let's use the same value that it was uh, from the la arriba label arriba label so let's see what's happening right now but we are going to insert this in the equals procedure so we just change to equals typhoon to this new procedure that we just created and let's see what's happening 34 minus 67 and then we use equals and it has the result. So it is pretty awesome, but this is not the, that's not the best thing. Check 12. And then you can use plus 62 minus two times one point three so 12 divided by 6 plus 62 minus 2 uh, times 1.3 and then you go for equals and then you have the result it's awesome you can add also parentheses okay to this and it will work now let's just remember you can have like the errors as usual like in other calculators for example 62 and then minus minus seven well you have an error okay but that's not big deal i guess it, it's pretty awesome okay so you need to check all the information that it has in the website okay so you can check all these things okay so it, it's amazing i really like it okay so and it was pretty simple so if you want to make your calculator just add the buttons then you just create the procedure to add the digits so this very simple procedure, okay? So with just the label and the digit, then add this procedure to your buttons. For example, the number two, the procedure with the number two, because you are pressing number two. And that's it. And then you add, create the equals procedure that it's this one. Uh, also for the operators, well, it is quite similar to the add digit, okay? So instead of the digit, you are just adding the operator. And that's it that's so simple okay so just using this wonderful wonderful extension from typhoon okay and as i told you you can use parentheses you can use a uh, more uh, mathematical expressions okay uh, and you can make a really 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 complex uh, calculator okay so you just need to add the buttons and all of these things okay so um well uh, for example if you have with this extension uh i will show you just a very simple thing so let's say that we have this you just have like 36 plus 7 times 5 and then divided by 3 okay so um 
what else i guess this one and you have more things you just do it so you have here the result okay so just check the information at the buttons that you need okay and if you understand a lot about these mathematical expressions or functions okay so as i told you you just need to read all the information from this math extension i'm just using the basic stuff okay for example here when you want to up a number okay so for example this three and then you have for example in here six two four plus and then you just do it okay it's amazing okay so it's amazing this thing so just let me make it like this so guys i guess that's all for today i just was trying this thing i don't know if it's like working really nice this uh, broadcasting thing but uh, that's all for today my name is eduardo and i guess it's not working this whoops well anyway So I'm just, just testing these things, okay? Oh, friend, <clears throat> I didn't know that it was not like broadcasting this thing, but maybe there is an error with my uh, broadcasting thing or my transmission or this. Well, anyway, well, I guess that's all for today. So I hope this is okay for you and I will see you in the next tutorial for a uh, app inventor or app builder. If you want to, uh, if you want me to make some more of these things. Okay. So just let me know. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.